I'm John Ingalls, Senior Pastor of First Presbyterian Church here in downtown Murfreesboro on the corner of College and Spring. This is your Saturday morning preview of your Sunday morning sermon. So as we talked about in the summer months, it's, things are different here at the church. Even worship's different. Of course, you know, we have our combined worship service at 1015, but, but just the way we approach sermons are a little bit different because Sometimes uh, people are off on vacations and we're going here and going there. It's a little less formal. So s most of the time we don't do series, but we're, we're going to do a series of sermons in July. And it's going to be the Songs of 1985. Now, the Songs of 1985 may mean nothing to you, but to me, they mean everything. Because in the summer of 1985 was transformative in my life. It was between my junior and senior year in high school. And, and as you will hear Sunday, the, my summer didn't go off like the way I planned. But it was, a, it was just impactful, an impactful time in my life. And, and one of the things that reminds me of the impact that summer had on my life are the songs that I remember played in the summer of 1985. Music's an amazing thing, right? Songs are so amazing. I, I, it, it amazes me that I can hear a song from my past and it will take me back to that time and place when I heard the song for the very first time. That's what we're going to do this, this summer. Uh, and that's what we're going to do this Sunday. Uh, the first song we're going to look at is Small Town by John Cougar Mellencamp. It's one of my all-time favorite songs in the world. Uh, I think I, on, on my iPhone, I, I think I like have five different versions of that one song. I think what I love about that song the most, though, is, is it gave me a deeper appreciation for the town I grew up in. It gave me a deeper appreciation for the people who surrounded me in that small town of Dalton, Georgia. Our text that we're going to use comes from Micah. It's that great line that the question that is asked, what does the Lord require of you? Justice, mercy, and to walk humbly with God. And I learned that lesson in my small town. So I hope to see you July 3rd. Remember, we're having communion uh, this Sunday. It will be communion by intention. If you are uncomfortable for any reason because of COVID, uh, we will have our little communion cups to go. So we look forward uh, to seeing you Sunday, and I look forward to doing this preaching service.